previously. It's DD Warrior Lady. Ah, man, the tech, this card's been coming up. On Progression Series Season 2. That is really good. I <laughs> really? It was a super <laughs> two for two. I can't believe I'm about to lose this, to be honest. <laughs> That's like the worst card in the deck. I couldn't freaking beat Kaiku Pass. You know what year that your board looked like it was from? In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But but this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. I'm not gonna lie. I think we won last episode by the skin of our teeth. Uh, Gage played badly, I played badly, but sometimes Yu-Gi-Oh! is about who makes less mistakes. And I think fortunately for us, we were able to come out on top. But I'm scared because I could have actually gone into the banning had I lost last episode, and we could have nerfed Gage's deck to a degree, but unfortunately, uh, I'd rather him not take the lead, and uh, for you all have to deal with that. So we're gonna spin the wheel. Uh, actually, considering Battle Pack is the latest set, even a wild card is pretty good here. So let's see what we get. Oh, okay. A promo wild card, huh? We haven't had one of these in a long time. I'm gonna have to think about this. Okay, so after some consideration, I came down to a few options. So promo wild card's interesting because there's a lot of cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that are considered promos, right? Uh, one of which is something like Tragodia. This is were printed in multiple sets, but also came as a promo because it was a jump promo. So we could pick this up because this is something that we missed previously, and it's like fairly generic too, honestly. So we could use this in a lot of decks. Then there's also something like Dandelion. We've missed this multiple times. This is also a promo card, but there's one card that I found that is a promo card that is actually a card that is on the ban list and might give us an edge considering the type of deck Gage is playing. And that card is number 16, Shockmaster. So I think we're gonna redeem our wild card for this little guy right here. And uh, maybe this will come up for today's episode. I gotta be honest, I wasn't planning on it, but this might change things. So speaking of today's episode, let's have Gage go over today's set, Number Hunters. One step forward, two steps back. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't seem to take the victory. We're all really close, though. As long as we're in this sort of one-win break, I'm feeling okay, though. As long as Alex doesn't take the victory with, like, a three-win streak out of nowhere, which I don't really expect him to do with the amount of power I have in my hands here, combined with our Dragon War deck, as well as multiple other different strategies just at my disposal. I really don't see myself getting too far behind Alex. Eventually, eventually, we will take the lead. Eventually. Today, though, we're opening a stinker. I hate to see it, bro. You can own this entire set of number hunters for $63. What a bargain. This set released July 12th, 2013. Um, wasn't even good on release, I think. There's a couple cards that were just okay, but uh, for the most part, this is a very forgettable set. I think Number Hunters was just a set to pretty much give us some of the stuff that we were missing in the OCG at the time, some certain imports, and then also, I guess, give us a whole bunch of, as the title would assume, number monsters. What even is this? Zexel? So, like, the big Zexel fans could collect all the number monsters of the series. Then again, all the numbers weren't even in this set, and some of the numbers were even locked behind prize cards, so not really an easy collection to complete. Just a really confusing set altogether. Um, if they wanted to make the numbers attainable, or like a collector piece for multiple people, they shouldn't have made cards like Giant Hand or Diablosis like uh, prize cards in the first place. That's just really counterintuitive. But those cards are great, actually. Those cards are really good cards. Better than the vanillas we have today, right? I don't know. Who's to say? Yeah, Number Hunters doesn't really have a lot going on. Uh, the gimmick puppets never did anything, like, at all in their entire stint of the game here. Like, 
gimmick puppet nightmare. We saw Fringe play with Branded just last year. But other than that, um, the, the, the archetype never did anything. Chronomaly in the same vein, too. We ended up getting cards like Nebradisc just way too late to be able to do anything. You got a Kage Tokage reprint again in here, right? So, <laughs> since I didn't open the proper amount of what? What did I miss? I don't think I opened the amount of star packs I had to. Um, I ended up missing up a couple extra copies of this. Hey, I get another try, right? Sick. All the super rares are Why the fuck is this guy in here? Chakra? What even is this? Good enough for number hunters, though, right? It'll go in there. <laughs> All the super rares are literally nothing to write home about. I think the only two good ones we're going to look at is Crazy Box, which ended up being, I think, an Eradicator target for most players. A generic rank 4 with 3,000 attack. You could tribute it and make some cool things happen. Back then, I think it was like call spell for the spellbook matchup. And then um, mech equipped engineer is actually super solid as well as a rank three. Protect something from battle and card effect by switching the battle position. Actually, pretty cool card. I'm not gonna lie. Nice with our tour guide engine, by the way, too. Maybe, maybe. And then as for the secret rares, um, giant grinders just generically a good rank eight, even though there's not many rank eights at the time. Uh, Fortune tune got a lot better with Zeus, being that it can't be destroyed by battle. Master of Blades was like the chase card of the set because it was a rank seven. Oh boy, what rank 7 deck is absolutely slapping tits right now? It's Dragon Roar, so pretty much a free shoe in right? But other than that, yeah, none of the other cards are great. Nope, I had to take another double check. <laughs> Norito's like, okay. Oh, and actually, you know, Blue Mountain Butter Spy? Great super rare card. Um, a level 4 warrior, dark. Uh, a lot of cool things that you could do with making Ice Soul Day. I think this was instrumental in early combos. Uh, one of the cool combos, I think, is Connector Blue Mountain Butter Spy, Summon Connector Chain Butter Spy. What that does is that chain blocks the connector. It's pretty fucking sick. I like it. All right, it is time. We are opening number... Oh, wait, I have my pity packs. What am I opening? Astral Pack 2, I think. Sorry, not just used to losing so often, right? I do have Astral Pack 2, three booster packs of it. Give me, like, another Dragoons. Wouldn't that be crazy if I pulled... Not the right one? Whoops. All right, there we go. Three Astral Packs, two. Let's see, flip. Gemini Spark. I think we already have a place out of this. Recycling batteries is really cool, though. I, I I actually think I needed a third one of these. Slushy. And then Barox. Look at that, man. Instant fusion. All-star right there. Oh, is that an ulti pappy? That's crazy. <laughs> it's an ulti pappy. That's crazy. Uh, nothing useful. I think the recycling batteries is actually pretty neat. I'm not going to lie. That recycling batteries is pretty good. We'll put it into the collection. Maybe I'll think about putting something in here in my deck today. I don't know. Let's see what we're doing. Might not be the most exciting set, but 24 packs of Number Hunters coming right up. There are a few relevant cards in here, though, and if we open them, we will discuss them. Unfortunately, though, it does not look like we got any of those in our first pack. There's actually the first relevant card, Mechquipped Engineer. This is a super, so this is almost guaranteed for both Gage and I to pick it up. Uh, it's a generic rank 3, as a matter of fact, and makes it that, uh, as a quick effect, you can detach and exceed material from it, target a face of attack position much you control, change it to defense, and if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. This is actually a very relevant rank 3 for multiple decks, and uh, we didn't have this in Prog Season 1, because I think this was the first set it debuted in, and we only did main sets, so this is pretty cool. There's one of the secret rares we are looking for, Fortune Tune. Uh, another rank 3, as a matter of fact, so rank 3 is getting a ton of support in here. This one's pretty neat, though. Uh, it's a very annoying card to deal with. A lot of people in modern Yu-Gi-Oh! might know this card for time, but uh, it's also just weird, because neither player can target it with card effects, and it's like, if it would be destroyed, you can detach a material instead, so just a very hard card to out for a lot of decks. Very annoying. First pack is all right. Look at that Kage to Kage. That's my third. And then the Blue Mountains Butter Rot. You know what? That's not bad. I'll take it. Whoa, there's Chakra. My man Chakra, bro. Everybody was looking for him, right? Hey, Giant Grinders, a really good rank eight. That's a really solid rank eight. I talked about it earlier. Nay, hey, Master of Blades, gotta make, you know, gotta make the Dragon Roller deck a little bit better. During either player's turn, when a card effect is activated that targets it, detach material, negate, and destroy the card. So, not like easy to out <laughs> not that difficult either but it was a, a good seven to make you know if you weren't making draco sack turn one uh notably your opponent couldn't take it with big eye right oh i got another one too hey let's go two of the master of blades i have no idea what i'm gonna do with that engineer oh i needed him too all right i think i got everything i wanted from number hunters it's been a good day fortune tune and a crazy box wow okay i i've officially gotten everything from number hunters i needed um both of those cards are really good uh generic three generic four both have a purpose 
Box of Friends is a card that a lot of people love uh, in the community. A very cute and adorable card. Uh, not like the worst card either. There are like some build arounds for it, but I don't think it's good enough for our series. This is pretty neat. Kage Takage gets a reprint in here. I think this might be like its highest rarity. It's super rare. So if we miss Kage Takage in the past, which I think I have a play set. I'm not sure if Gage does. This is another opportunity to get it. There is some just like decent Xyz based support, depending on like what level uh, deck you're trying to make. Tri-Headed Dust Dragon is not a particularly good card, but I would I always love this artwork. I thought this artwork was really cool. Norito, the morale leader. These are some good cards. You know what? I think I got the best of the number of hunters. I'll take it. You don't need multiple copies of these cards too since they rely on the extra deck. You're really not looking to summon more than one of them. Oh, Giant Trainer is also pretty sick. I always thought this card would be a lot better, but the problem is he requires three level eights, which is, that's a lot to ask, but he draws three cards, man. Three cards. I mean, pff, that's pretty good, ain't it? Oh, Princess Cologne. And a nightmare. Oh my god, a nightmare. Look at that. Branded, here we come. All right, coming up on the last few packs. We never re-roll these packs. If Alex spends one of his re-rolled tickets here, that would be the most... That would be the craziest thing to happen in the progression series, probably. Out of everything that's happened, that would honestly be the most unbelievable thing to see here. Um, number Hunters, it's not a good set. We got an okay pull, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it. What am I gonna do? Spin it again? All right, well, let's build today. So we got only a few packs left of number hunters. Uh, we didn't pull like the main card that I think a lot of people might remember from this set. And that's uh, promising because that means Gage might not pull it either, considering he actually can benefit from pulling the card. So let's open our last few packs and see what we get. Nothing too good in that one. Another box of friends. Very funny. And f oh, crazy box. I completely just skipped crazy box. I think that might have been our first one. Not necessarily a good card, but you know, for skill drain, you know, it's kind of funny. Last pack. Do we get anything crazy? Does not look like it. Okay, uh, we're just gonna keep this. Like, honestly, there wasn't really anything we were looking for out of here, so it's fine. We'll keep it, and uh, let's get to building. With the fact that we pulled a Shockmaster, we might have some more options on the table than I thought. Last episode, we got embarrassed by Alex's anti-meta strat. Honestly, a deck that would hold no water against any other deck in the game, but it was designed specifically to beat Dragon Wars and beat Dragon Wars, well, unfortunately it did. I still think, especially with uh, Master of Blades, our Dragon War deck is far and beyond the best thing we've seen in the progression series thus far. Um, I think Alex knows that too, and I think he knows we're going to try to rock up with it again this week. There's no reason to not run, like, the best deck back to back to back until it forces some bans out of him, right? Like, when we just get a win streak. But maybe he expects that, and maybe he just wants to see if he can squeak out some wins with the best anti-meta strat he can. So while he's geared to beat that best deck of the format, let's play something a little bit more his pace, throw him off guard, and maybe his entire main deck is just completely useless, right? We're rocking up with Worms again this week. Uh, you know, the classic Zex plus Jaegen combo. We saw it a while ago here, but with a couple of new rank fours in our extra deck and a great side deck to pair, I think this might be our best bet against a lot of the strategies that Alex has, has right? Lead Yoke doesn't do too much against, you know, Jaegen Bounce. And I think our rank four pull is way better than Alex's too. We actually got to add Constellar Omega, which requires two level four light monsters. It's a good thing that all our worms are lights. It allows us to uh, get through any back row that Alex has, you know, deep prisons and stuff. I am unscared of. Unscared of? Not scared of. What am I talking about, bro? We also add Evil Swarm Azathoth to this list, which is a reptile that, um, I think Alex ended up playing in one of his decks, right? It's a flip effect. We're targeting a special summon monster on the field. Shuffle it into the deck. Flip effect. Reptile. It's a dark. Oh my god. I get to play the BLS. My BLS. Not only is Omega Sip, but why don't we just point out that King of the Feral Imps literally searches our entire deck. Like, that's pretty cool on its own too, right? I can pick up any card that I want pretty much at any time. Zex is a one-card combo, and this gets us right to it. I also think against generic anti-meta stun stupid stuff that um, a card like Offerings to the Sneak Deity in our uh, side deck here will be invaluable. Just being able to Icarus attack two cards. And a deck that wants to play stupid stuff like that, like, this is just super super strong i had a little bit of help looking into alex's stuff and i don't think there's really anything too scary i really think he's just trying to counter us what's the saying like i think instead of playing to win he's playing to not lose and, and when he does that um hopefully i can flip the script on him and uh hit up a free win with there with something just he's not expecting at the time right i think this deck is solid hopefully it plays on the same pace that alex is and he doesn't take something completely new to the table and i feel bad that i could have just queued up the best deck in the game <laughs> it is what it is i'm feeling a win Let's tie it up again, 51-51, let's do it. Uh, let's see what Alex is playing. 
All right, I had a completely different game plan for today, but as soon as we unlocked the shock, I think we have to go ahead and give this a test drive. This is an opportunity for us to get a relatively free win if Gage isn't prepared for it. And I think based off the way last episode went, he's not going to be prepared for this exactly. Also considering he doesn't know that I have this yet. So let's do the card by card. I did about 50 test hands with this and I had a 62% success rate. So... We're going to hope that's enough to carry us to that because, God, if this doesn't work, this is going to be a disaster. So, ultimately, what we're trying to do is stick three level fours to summon Shockmaster. Now, we have numerous ways to do this. So, obviously, Gadget is the best deck for this because we can spam rank fours like easy. So, we have the Gadget. Uh, nine may seem excessive, but there were plenty of test hands where I just needed a Gadget for everything to come together. So, in this particular instance, I'd rather draw too many than too little, if that makes sense. It's very strange, but with the way that the rest of the deck looks it kind of makes sense so we just need to stick three guys right so how are we going to do that well all the gadgets are like the main normal summon thrasher is an extra special summon that we get as long as we have no other monsters which turn one is fine monk can get any additional monster but we still need an extra special summon in addition to that so that's where like cards like thrasher come in or potentially tin goldfish to summon the monk so then that way we're able to go into anything with a spell card instant fusion also fills this role as well because we can get level fours out of our extra deck courtesy of carbonola warrior and uh dark fire dragon so through some combination of all the monsters we're playing here except for effect veiler we should be able to stick three level fours on the first turn and go into shock master the plan after that is to just summon as many guys as possible and kill gauge before we're able to let him play the game essentially because shock master is going to get three turns uh, of gauge not being able to do anything where we're going to be able to just keep summoning rank fours and just beating his face in so that's the game plan uh it it's going to be a bit rough but hopefully as long as we can win the die roll or if gauge like bricks one hand then we should be okay so uh we have two veilers because if we do go second i need something to like slow him down a little bit i can veiler draco sack and then if i do that Shockmaster actually has a hundred more attack to hit over it if he summons it in defense which people typically do so that's hilarious if that's the case so i want to have something for going second here we have three of the gadgets kage to kage on special just is able to uh bring himself out if something's normal summon thrasher's a free special monk's a normal that gets a free special tin goldfish gets a free special and that's it for the monsters literally all we're doing is just rank four turbo Moving on to the spells, Instant Fusion is just more guys, essentially. Dark Hole's a no-shit button. Lance is to protect the Shockmaster from... Because Gage is playing, like, Rideki Break and stuff, so I need to have, like, something in here to protect from that. So we have that and Judgment and Triple MST. If he goes set Rideki Break and End Phase, I can just pop it. So it sort of counters it in a way. Uh, we just need something in here. And plus, MST ups the spell count for Monk. There were hands where I would get Monk and, like, a Thrasher or a Goldfish, but no way to actually trigger the Monk. So that was annoying. So I wanted to up the spell count a little bit more and then we're just playing thin deck cards right we have pot of greed triple upstart and roto which gets us into thrasher for the traps i slim down we're just playing compulse judgment and offering this may seem counterintuitive playing a gadget deck because gadgets usually play a lot of trap cards but i know that after the last episode gauge might think that i'm going to play like another back row deck to try to stun him out so he might come prepared with more back row removal than he otherwise would so i want to just kind of play the bare necessities here judgments to protect shock mass your ultimate offering is literally an auto win if we resolve this with one gadget because we can literally summon every gadget out of our deck and summon four rank fours and just kill him and compulse is a way to out the most threatening cards in his deck which are going to come out of the extra deck we're talking about the big eyes the draco sacks things like that right this is just the most like generically applicable one out of the bunch and so i still like this one over something like torrential which we're still boarding the extra we have two fours dark fire and carbonola uh we do have excalibur there's a world where like if our board gets wiped we could go thrasher instant Fusion Carbonola and make a 4k Excalibur like that could come up so I figured it's like worth the slot I also don't have much else to put in here anyway and then we have Emerald which can actually funny enough recycle Shockmaster if we absolutely have to Alverditch is decent it kind of lets us get over like big guys like so if we get like Gores or if Gage just like sits on rulers we can actually clear them Gem Knight Pearl's big uh, Double King of the Feral Imps is sort of how this deck functions essentially because we don't have gear getting it X but this with any gadget means we get a rank 4 every single turn and if this sticks around round it gets even more out of hand because we can search with it twice so that's crazy chain i don't think we're doing anything with this to be honest we're not playing fortress because fortress doesn't continue to contribute to the main game plan and we're not playing uh machina gear frame because we don't have it uh we have one utopia and crazy box in case gates play skill drain which i think he has before papal operative is one of the ways we're going to actually win potentially uh when we're he's under the shock lock we do 
need this. And then Desigma, it's not hard for us to go into three rank fours or three level fours rather. And Desigma can out just like weird things. So I figured it's like worth having over the second Utopia or something, but we'll see. The side honestly is for if we know we're going first or if he's playing something that's just like not ruler, I guess. Or if he is, we could just bring a bunch of this anyway. So we have another Valor. We have Gores. We have triple Kaiku. We have Mole. Double Bottomless. Triple Prison. Soul Drain. And Torrential. I just want to adjust my deck after the fact. Once I know if I'm going either first or second. Because I kind of just want to turbo in on getting out Shockmaster for the first game. And afterwards, then we can bring in the appropriate board pieces. We'll see. There is a universe where Gage doesn't play rulers at all. He might think that I'm going to think that he's playing ruler. And try to play another deck to counteract that. And so as a result he might pick something completely out of left field so that way he might get the leg up on me but even if he's not playing something like that this deck is still fine at being able to just beat face by summoning a ton of rank fours and we can just take out the excess gadgets you know the thrashers just all the turbo tools and bring in like real traps if we absolutely have to so I like this deck either way I think this actually is a pretty good shot especially if we win the die roll so ladies and gentlemen let's not make you wait any longer it's time to duel Well, Gage, uh, we went from three Titan sets to uh, Number Hunters, and I will say uh, there are number cards in that set, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of them. There's a few There's of them. A few I, of them. Alex, a few of were them. you hunting for anything from this set? Anything uh, you actually wanted from it? I wouldn't say I was hunting for anything, but I will say, you know, we make fun of this set relative to the sets we just had before. There's some okay stuff in here, right? Like, mech-whipped Angonier is not terrible. Uh, like, Master of Blades is pretty sick. Uh, if you didn't have, like, Kage to Kage or some of the other, like, random cards that got reprinted in here, there's, like, some okay cards in here. But uh, yeah. in terms of, like, the set overall, not feeling too good about it. Yeah, like, you keep using that word, like, okay. And, like, how do you print okay cards in a time where the last three sets saw, like, the most powerful card Yu-Gi-Oh! has ever seen? Like, oh, they I, did it's just it. a really weird thing. Like, they did it, though, man. <laughs> they gave us, uh, what, Shinobi level one guy in a world oh, where Draco God. Sack exists. To be <laughs> fair, the gimmick puppet nightmares in this set, and that actually sees modern play in all fairness. Modern play. So, yep, yeah, yeah. So I guess, like, we're, we're shitting on this set, but there are some redeeming facts. Compared to some, like, of the duelist packs we've had before, I think Number Hunters is at least slightly better than that, I will say. Um, but, Gage, I know you are itching to retie the series back up, so uh, it, it's going to be interesting to see how things play out today. How you feeling? As long as I got you on your toes, man, with the one win, I feel good. If I oh, keep man. evening up, I think it's like a mental torture for you, right? Will you lose the crown? Definitely. It's a matter of when, though. So. I think it'll be mental torture for you if I win again this week I'd because be you have mortified. the most powerful deck of all time. But I would be mortified. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Shout out the patron. It is Preachan Aikatsu. Thank you for the support. I apologize if I butchered your name. Gage? See how it goes, my Ooh, friend. Okay. I pick uh, easy I choice for me, Alex. I'm going to go first. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Best of luck, my friend. See how it goes All for right. you. Best of luck, duelist. I'll go stand my main. I'll start my turn with Pot of Greed. Always smiling, my friend. Always smiling. All right. Um, right. I'm going to set one. I'm going to set a couple of back row. Oh, what? And I'm going to pass my turn here. Go ahead. You feeling okay over there, buddy? Uh, it's not an electric start for the, the Dragon Ruler deck, right? Like, <laughs> nothing crazy going I'm, on there. Are you actually even on Ruler? I mean, I guess you could be. I think you've like, seen this play before with the Rulers. It, it I guess. Okay. Uh, stand by anything? No, 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 you're good. Okay. Well, thankfully, I get to make up the advantage. Hey, <laughs> It's only fair, right? Yeah, there you yeah. go. I'll draw a few as well. Okay. Uh, this is this is a hand. I'll say that much. Okay. Um... You have me, you have me nervous here, buddy. I'm, I'm a bit confused as to what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, I... tread lightly, bro. Be careful. Yeah. Either that, or you just have like a major brick, uh, or you're just playing something else entirely. Did you just draw all three Raigeki breaks? Is, is that that's what definitely with, with two cards in hand, triple Raigeki, <laughs> triple Raigeki. Hey, you know, you could, this could be a white stone, and then that makes the third Raigeki break online. I guess. Read me uh, like a book. Uh, I, like I guess. Book. I guess. What the. F fuck do I do about it? I gotta be honest. I'm a, I'm a bit confused. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna run out Photon Thrasher. Um, yeah, he's powerful. I like him. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna go to battle. Okay. I'm gonna poke. Alright. Um, you're running into Worm Carteros. 
Swishing it up on me here. I, I, okay. I thought you would take some poopy okay. anti-meta summon Kaiku again. And okay. I'm like, I can't bear to bring the best deck into a bloodbath with that. Sure. So I gotta okay. slow it down to your tempo. I think this might be my best bet here. Okay. You don't have uh, anything for the flip effect. I'm I do not. Carteros is good. Carteros is good. Okay. Gotta pick up my worm Zex here, and this will yeah, go to you will. Yeah, you will. Okay. Uh, I'll go second main in that case. Uh, I wanted to just lead with Thrasher. Thrasher could have hit over, like, your prospective, like, 2K defenders. So I figured he's, like, an okay card to start I'm with. expecting normal gadget. I don't know. I'm Maybe you're going to bust that out. Are you expecting normal yeah, gadget? I knew it was coming. <laughs> no. Yes, normal gadget is fine. Let's throw Kage to Kage while we're at it. Ooh, that's a lot of value, too. Okay. It's a lot of value, indeed. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead with our gadget search here. Uh, get our red, of course. Kage to Kage was chain link two there, so we get to throw him out. Now the question becomes, where do we go from here? So I got three back row. I know you got the Zex. You have to be a bit mindful of that. Zex, uh, Zex on summon dumps Yagen or special If foolish Yagen? barrels. If foolish barrels, barrels anyone. Yeah. And then if I can, uh, if, if I you control, control Yagen, Zex, you can't Yagen can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then Yegan can summon itself. That's part of it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. I, uh, it's been a while since you brought out the worms. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry. Mm. All right. Let's, uh, let's overlay. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's overlay. Let's keep our Thrasher around. I know you have a Zex. Let's overlay these two. Okay. Let's go for King of the Feral Limbs. Okay. On the summon, I am going to Torrential Tribute. Sure. Just want to get as much as I am the as only guy there. accessing reptiles this game, okay? Seems like it. Seems <laughs> like it. A battle, a little battle of the reptiles over here. Uh, I'll just pass. Go ahead. All right. That's what I figured. Okay. I'll draw. Stand by main. Yep. All right. I'm going to summon Zex. Zex is good. Zex. Okay. Sure. Zex, dump my man, Yegan here. There he is. Very powerful. Uh, Yegan effect. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm going to activate instant fusion. I'm going to pay oh, a sure. thousand of my life. You're going for it. I'm going to pick me up. Uh,. Just a second. If it, there you go. Okay. Uh, Carbonala Warrior. Sure. I am unafraid of gores when you're playing a back row deck. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna go King of the Feral Imps. Yeah. Your own imps. Detach go my World Zex. Sure. Pick up another card here. What am I picking up? I can pick up any reptile now. The world's my oyster. I mean, you probably only have three in the deck. If I had, to. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're right. <laughs> Actually, right, like. <laughs> King of the Feral Imps, though, criminally underrated common card. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Where's, like, the I'm, super rare printing of this guy? You know what I'm going to pick up? I'm going to actually grab... I'm going to grab a Carteros. I'll put sure. It in I'll go battle, and like I said, I'm not afraid of Gores. 23. Two. I'll add a back row, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. I'll draw. Standby main. A lot of back row. Uh, we'll go for the red. Yeah, that's fine. You got the Kage to pair with it? No Kage to pair with it. Okay, Let's I'm happy to hear that. I think I'll just set one and I'll throw it to you. During the end phase, let's just, I'll zap it. It was a space. It was my space. Okay, fair trade. Fair trade. All right, I'll draw for turn. Not happy you get to use this King of the Feral Imps again, but. Yeah, I know, right? There's a it. whole bunch of value. I'm going to activate him again. Sure. All right, off of the Feral Imps, I think I've made a decision. Um, We'll get we'll get a Kage to Kage. Okay. Both on Kage to Kage this episode. Yeah. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, right? We're Very funny. Lots of salamanders. So I know the hands. Carteros, Kage to Kage, and two others yes. I do not know. Yes, 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 yes. That's all you know. I don't even want to switch this Jaegen to attack. It doesn't do anything. Um, it, like, puts a clock on you, but we'll take it slow. I'm uh, I'm currently dominating you, I think, here. I'm going to set, and I'm just going to go battle phase. Oh, by, by the way, played super into evenly matched here, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's I'll take fine. a thousand. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, we'll go main phase two. I'll add another backer, and I'll pass it back. A card that doesn't exist for another God knows how long. Uh, main one. Uh, we're just chilling over here. I'll go yellow. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll get a green. Uh, I'm going to assume this is Carteros. I'll try hitting into it. I mean, yeah, it is. I'll flip it and I'll get my effect. Yep. I just didn't watch I you having the extra body. I get it. I'll pick up the Zex. Sure. Send a graveyard. I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. Draw for turn. Stand by me. All right. Well, I guess no brainer. Uh, summon Zex, and then I'll activate Zex as Chain Link One, and I'll reveal Kage to Kage as Chain Link Two. Yeah, you will. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Special and Zex. I'll just dump another Yegan out of the deck. All right. I'll take the uh, Yegan and the Kage to Kage. Do I add follow up again? That would be like. <laughs> yeah. Like, I do. All right. I'm gonna go another Feral Limbs. Sure. 
and I'm gonna activate the other fair limbs here. Uh, gonna... I guess I'll Valor this. Valor that one. All right, yeah. that's fair. That's fine. slow down I'll a go bit. Battle phase. Let's just start getting some damage in 23. So this is 11. Oh, this is game. Okay. This is just game. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I was a little bit. I was just taking it slow and steady. I was like, I'll get it eventually. All right. There okay, you go. Game two. Gotta admit, Gage, uh, I did say in my deck profile that there is a chance you don't bring rulers. And so I was not, not going to say I was fully expecting it, but I knew that there was a remote possibility. I wasn't expecting worms of all things, I'll be honest, but uh, clearly you made quick work of me in that first game. I'm going to try to reverse it here in the second. All right, we'll see if you do any better. Let's see. Okay. Best of luck, sir. I mean, I'm going to do pretty good when I start with Pot of Greed again. So. I can't, do, <laughs> can't be doing bad with that, right? No, I would agree. Okay. Uh, main one actually kind of looks okay to me yeah we'll boogie uh let's go red god red gadget <laughs> as a red guy <laughs> got it red dude red yeah, dude, red dude. Yes. uh and i do have the kage so i'll go ahead and fire that okay too. strong go for it yep uh so we'll get our yellow and then i want to think here knowing what, what you're goes. on i need to think if i want to play this any differently than i otherwise would yeah i i'll boogie uh, uh i don't know do i want to Think of all the ways this could go wrong. And there's several, trust me. <laughs> uh, fuck it. Let's YOLO. Oh, instant fusion. All right, man. Run it. Run it. 8,000. Dark fire is your choice over Carbonala. Interesting. Interesting. Now, Gage, for my wild card today, I got a wild card promo. Do you want to tell me a particular <gasps> promo card that requires three what the rank fuck? four? No way! Dude, I feel like I got some broken cards, but this is like, this is insane! <laughs> oh, God. This is why you rocked up with gadgets. This today. is why we Holy were on shit. it. This is why oh we were God. on it. Now, admittedly, this is not the best deck to be using Shockmaster against, but I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't at least summon it on you once today. So. Absolutely. What are <laughs> we calling? We're calling we Monster, calling? of course. Uh, okay. It's the All obvious right. choice to start with. Uh, and then I'll set two back row and I'll just chuck it back to you. I was wanting That's to maybe so be conservative, strange. but, you know, it's Shockmaster. Let's unlock the shock baby let's go. i i agree man you gotta let him fly oh man i just got shock master <laughs> in 2023 did you ever get what's the worst time you've ever gotten shock mastered alex uh Have you never actually because i didn't play during this time so thankfully nah, man, i lucky. never was on the receiving end of this card or i you're got lucky, to, i didn't though. get to use it against anyone either too can you believe this was legal in pepe format for oh. ocg that's God, unbelievable I to me i don't even want to talk about it <laughs> Jesus, that's powerful. It's a it's a very banned card, that's for sure. I uh, funny enough on the ban list coming up in a couple episodes, he's banned. So <laughs> I figured he made yeah, an adequate choice for the wheel today. All right, I'm going to set one. Let's see it. Set the four. Two, three, four. Electrifying gameplay, right? It's Go ahead, your turn. Yep. I'll draw. Anything in stamina. Draw phase. I figured yeah, this was coming. I figured this was yeah. coming. This is actually cute that I get to do this. I'm going to do W Nebula Meteorite. Okay. It allows me to flip up my face down defense position monsters. So I'm going to flip up Worm Yegan. Had the Yegan. Yep. I have the option to draw uh, to summon a level seven or higher. Alex, I don't have one. So, <laughs> so we're going to use Yagen's effect to bounce Shockmaster. That's hopefully. pretty good. I was my This is the punish to this play and why I was thinking it wouldn't be great. But if you didn't have Yagen, uh, you were basically going to be screwed because I could just lock you out of traps for the rest of the game. So fortunately, it did work out for you. So congratulations. Uh, you get to draw your card still, by the way. I think it's during the end phase. It oh, during the end phase. Face excuse me. I draw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess that's somewhat good for me then. Interesting. Better for me, I get to use Yegan's effect again. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Not too happy about that. Okay, I'll go main phase one. And yeah, that is the punish and exactly why I didn't want a Shockmaster. <laughs> but it was funny and your reaction will probably be worth it. But it's Shockmaster. It's Shockmaster. It is Shockmaster. It, it's Shockmaster at the end of the day. If you want to bounce my gadget gauge, be my guess. I will take yellow Go for gadget. it, yeah. Okay, yellow we'll get a green. Cool. Uh, you get to flip him down, draw a card, not happy about it. I'll throw another card down and go ahead and resolve your meteorite. Be my guest. Yeah. So during the end phase, Yagen flips back down. I draw a card and then I could summon the level seven. But like I said, if you, you have, have that information, I don't have one. So yeah. we'll go to the next turn here. A lot of value though. A lot of value. Lots of value. Lots of value. Outing Shockmaster is pretty good for me. Can we do another gadget? Doesn't matter either. I got, 
more worried about what I am right now is cards like Torrential Tribute. Hmm. And bouncing that back to hand. Maybe that's why you're <laughs> goading me into it. You're like, do it, Gage. You want to know something sad, too? Uh. <laughs> Yagen's mandatory. <laughs> oh, it is? That's annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah. You, you have to. It's not even like a normal flip effect, isn't it? Isn't it like when, no, it's it's like when, when it's flip face, face up? up? Yeah. 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 <sighs> not a great play, Alex, but I'm just going to pass. Go ahead. I mean, I don't blame you, given how bad things could go, potentially. Uh, main one. No need to keep rushing things. Green Gadget. Yeah, Green Gadget. You want to torrential me, be my guess? <laughs> <laughs> All my guys just keep getting another You first. One. You first, Yeah, bro. of course. Of course. <laughs> Who's going to torrential first? We'll overlay. Yeah. Uh, who we making? Who we making? Uh, unfortunately, whatever I make is just going to get bounced by the Jaegen. Uh, we'll see if we get that far. We'll go Feral Limbs. I will, um, I'll compulse the Feral Limbs. Sure. Uh, that is... That's gotta is be fine. Come on, you ain't come. That's gotta be fine. What do you have? Thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll bounce him. Okay. I'm chilling. Go ahead. All right. I will draw. Stand by main. Yep. What a dumb little grind game. <laughs> I, I can't do anything right now. Like, <laughs> um... Okay, I'm gonna flip Worm Yagen. Wow. Okay. I'm in. Mandatory effect. Okay. Go, okay, glad sure. We glad we got that pass. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. nice. <laughs> now I'll activate instant fusion. I'll pay a thousand life points. Okay. And I'll I'll, uh, I'll get a level four from the extra deck here. Hold on. The Carbonala War. We see Do we again. have anything? No, you're good. Oh my god. How how? How is this possible? I'm gonna overlay. Alright, show me it. Uh, this can't resolve, Alex. Absolutely not. Thank you. This, there's no way. What do you have here? You're good. I'm good. Unfortunately, no. you're do, good. What do you mean? Okay. Something, um, the way I thought something worked, it doesn't work surely, the way I wanted. It to divine work. wrath. Anything. Nothing here. Nah, you're still? good. You're fine. <laughs> oh my god! I get to add any reptile. This is a dream come true. Wow. Um, I guess there's no other candidate that's better than Mr. Worm's X. He holds it down. He's tough. Yep. Alrighty. So what now <sighs> am I reading from your back row? You don't no interaction here. Maybe got like a deep prison. Which if you deep prison my fair realms, sure, sure. Like I do not care. I'm just gonna go battle phase, and I'm gonna yeah. attack you with twenty three. I'll prison it. You called it. Got it. Okay. Main two. Yep. All right. We're gonna throw him down. Worms X. That's right. You didn't normal summon. You instant fusion. It's annoying. Uh, using the effect, I assume? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, no, he's coming up the deck. Pretty easy. And then we'll On use... On res. Uh, yeah, I'm going to book okay. the Zex. Yeah, that's fine. I have no response to that. Okay. Poor guy. Um, Add a face down in the mix, and uh, you're a move duelist. Okay. Well... Uh, so I know... I actually don't think I know anything in your hand. I know you got... You do not. A bunch of back row. Let's go ahead and fire this space. Uh, we'll hit the new one. Okay. <laughs> We're so yep. good at this, aren't we? We're I know, so right? <laughs> so good. Uh, red gadget. Yeah. I'll get a yellow. I'll try for battle. I have a prison of my own. Unfortunate. I was hoping to snipe that because I figured you yeah, might. Super have advantageous it. here. Super advantageous here. Uh, I will set a card. Throw it back. Okay, I will draw. Stay my main. Full whip them up. Thank God I have bottomless. No, can't win them all. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Not meant for this world, unfortunately. I will just uh, add a face down, and I'm gonna pass it to you, Dulst. All right. Uh, I'll stand by main. Slowly whittling you away here. Very slowly. Yeah, you're getting there. Um, what else we got going on here? Let's try to run out this Kaiku. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah. It's good against rulers, but it's also good against this deck. I am going to... I'm going to allow it. Yep, I'll take 18. All right, I'll get your Yagans out of the grave. Uh, I'm not happy about that. I'm chilling. Go. Draw. Not happy about that either. Go. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, so I've seen Compulse, Prison, Torrent. You would have 100% Prison this if you had it. So unless you just drew it, I don't think you have it. Uh, what else could you have? 
You were taking some time to think about this kaiku. So maybe you have like a compulse or something and you were just weighing if it was worth using it because it's not like the best to compulse a kaiku. You'd probably rather save it for something else. Yeah, it's I don't a- want to keep my yegans anyways. Right? <laughs> Those aren't important. <laughs> nah. I feel like you would have torrential this too. I don't know what your back row is on. I feel like anything you would have done to this kaiku, you could have, and uh, you didn't. So, once that new back row is fresh enough, uh, let's just go for 18. I don't want to push. I'll prison this one. Okay, there we go. A little bit too I late. I did draw it off the top. Part. You did have the read for it. Yeah. But. Second main, uh, let's just go. I'll set one in pass. All right, I will draw. Stand by into the main phase. Mm-hmm. Not getting much better. Your move. I'll draw. Uh, let's go green gadget. Sure. No effect. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Are you on six gadget? No way you're playing six. That's Adam. crazy. Okay. Yeah, 14. 14. Yep. And I'll pass. Go ahead. Draw. I am... In eternal pain right now. Your t- your turn, bro. I'll see something eventually. The little gadget that could. Fourteen. He. Oh my god. He's chugging. Fourteen. Yes. I'll throw another one down. Go ahead. Draw. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> your move. Eventually, you're gonna have to do something to this gadget game. Well, you fucking yeah, I am. But I don't want. I don't want to do anything to this thing. It's a fourteen hundred vanilla. God, all right. I'm down to a thousand. Down to a thousand. I guess it's doing something. <laughs> oh, Go man. ahead. Go ahead. Please. Surely you'll oh, get there. Oh, my God. What is going Why? <laughs> <laughs> no way I'm going to do this. I'm going to dark hole your green game. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Let it flip up. But hold on. You'll, you'll, you'll see. You're really dark holing my green gadget. That's, I'm, that's I'm dark actually green unbelievable. Gadget. Yeah, sure. We've gotten to here. We've okay. gotten to here. All right. Um, I'll replace it with this. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> sure. Uh, how about a yellow gadget? You're going to torrential yellow, yellow, yellow gadget? Yellow gadget's fine. It's you got to do something to it. <laughs> I, I'm going to book a movie. Okay. All right. Gadget. That's something. That's something. That's something. Did you uh, not use yellow gadget's effect either? I no? did not. Uh, no you interest. Notice you notice there's to? five gadgets uh, in my grave and banished pile combined. You are so. playing. Wait, are you are playing six gadget? Oh my god. Okay, draw. All right. Well, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, wait. The, wait. Oh my. Wait. Okay. There's a chance. <laughs> All right. I'm going to set one card. Oh my god. Go. <sighs> I forget how many Yagen or Zex you have. I don't feel like you have three of each. I feel like you have three of one and two of another, or you might just have two. Of both. If that was Zex, I feel like you would have ran it out. Uh, it could just be a Carteros. So, something I'll just have to think about. I'll draw. <laughs> Blip. Yep. I will bounce your set. <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Shame the gadget. Uh, yeah. Is this going to work? It, I guess I just let space? that go. Yeah, that's fine. You're okay, going to waste cool. a Fetus Chain all that, sure. Waste? Uh, I'd be dead if I didn't. I mean, that's true. Mean? That's, that's true. I shouldn't say too much. Uh, second main, I know you've got stuff back there. Like, I know you do. Normal Tin Goldfish. Are you activating Tin Goldfish's effect? I'm not. Okay, I'm going to think for just a second. I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I'm like, I'm, you're going to do this. Like, there's no way. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, I'll throw another one down. Go ahead. Um, the last one hasn't been a threat. Let's get rid of that fresh one. Okay, cool. Stand by main. Okay, six gadget, man. What do we got? Two, three, two. Is that the... All your gadgets are gone. Whoops, I'm in the main phase. Um, you use tin... Do you actually have no... What's your best next play? Like, normal Kaiku again? Like, that's all I gotta worry about? You can go, like, Thrasher... Should make fun of these big level fours when you're on a thousand. I'm I'm not making fun of them. I ain't making fun of them. They're they're pretty good cards. (laughs) This has got to be the best draw I have here. I, I really don't know if there's another play. I'm, I'm just going to play like there isn't. I'm going to go normal Zex. And That's I'm gonna a six Zex. draw. Yeah. Yeah, third Zex. Alex, I regret to inform you, I do have a third Yankee. You have three and three? I swore three you only had three. two of one of them. Nope, three and three. I'm very fortunate. I will go Yegan effect. Well, it's not even an effect. It's just special summons and during opening game state, if that's okay. Yeah. No more Book of Moons. Got it. Um, No threat of Gores. I'll go Pokey Pokey. 18. Alrighty, your move. 
I'll draw. Gadget man with no gadgets. What am I scared of? I literally don't know if I'm scared of anything. I mean, you said it. Not me. I read the I read the Dasher, but that's fine. I can deal with that. Okay. Battle. Yeah. Let's attack. Um, do you want to attack that one? He can't be destroyed by battle. I know. Um, okay. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> that would be crazy. Damage right, step. Cool. Do we really have Honest in this deck? Lance. Oh. 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 Game three, buddy. Scoop Bro, it up. Bro, what? Scoop the, it up. What Scoop just it happened? Up. You I just got oh Lance my, to damage I'm step. So Let's go. Game three. Pissed. Come on. I had this one too. Wow, what a pun. <laughs> oh my god, bro. What a pun. <laughs>I'm going to be thinking about that one for the rest of the day, bro. I think I had this. I thought I had this locked up. I was like, man, tying up the series again. I got work to do, man. Not as easy as it seems. Can't can't um, let you have it too easily, buddy. Can't let you have it yeah. too easily. This is, I don't Obviously. think anyone is expecting this matchup for this episode. Oh, for sure. Absolutely for. not, bro. Absolutely not. This is out of nowhere here. I'm going to go first again. Weird. Seems like my Shocker. dad would like to do that. Yeah. All right, bud. Let's see how we do. Yeah, you got. Stand by me. This is an extremely. I'm going to go Thunder King Ryo. Yo. Okay. My man. He's tough, bro. I'm going to add a set card, and I'm going to pass my turn. Sure. I'll draw. Space it. No. It's my offering to the offering snake deity. Offering to the snake deity. That's a pretty good card. That's a pretty good card. Okay. Uh, do have to deal with Ryo, unfortunately. I'm not too happy about that. How do we want to deal with him? Can't just quite out him with... Well, you can out him with Gadget plus, like, an extender. But then you don't have any follow up, right? So that's my that's my thought process here. Very perceptive. Very perceptive. I think I'll just set one and pass. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. I'll draw. Ryo putting in work. I'm gonna go normal summon Kartaros. Sure. I will Kage to Kage. Yeah, that's fine. Defense stats are nothing impressive. Feral imps doesn't do anything here because I have Ryo. Correct. I could pappy this. Oh my god, I could pappy this. <laughs> That would be great. Maybe I do that. Or I just still make Feral Limbs. And then, like, if you force my hand with Ryo, I I think he's the best player. All right. I'm going to go exceed these two, and I'm going to make Utopia. Okay. I, I respect it. He's good. I'll go battle phase, attack with Ryo. <laughs> You're going to be really mad. Is it Warrior Lady? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. that's You know what? That's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It could be worse. I'll get over You take a hundred. Yeah, line. I do. Yeah. Miss a little you bit do get game. over it. It's fine. just very it's funny. It's fine. I'm not <laughs> mad about it. It's fine. 1900 can usually hit over basically anything in the game. So it's yeah. I, I respect it. It's fine. Drop another face down. It's your move. All right. Main one. I got to deal with Utopia, unfortunately. It's going to be a lot of damage. I'll set one. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. Stand by main. Yep. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. I got it two times this match. Hey. I guess it's only fair. I'll take him. He's looking good, bro. Okay, what am I thinking this back row is? What am I thinking? Um, This is the first sack, first back row you've set this game. You just drew it, I think, because you didn't set anything last turn. I could read Prison. If I would be very, very cautious, I could read Torrential. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to read that's like maybe something too good for me to handle. That'd be a massive swing if I just go into this. I'm going to go Battle Phase. Sure. This will surely get in this time for 19 damage. This will not get in this time. We'll Home and Endeavor, never lucky. It's never happening. All right. You know what? Prison's okay, though. That's fine. And I'll still get in 25 with Utopia. 25 is good. Yep. Okay. No gores. No problem. Main phase two, I'm going to set up a back row there. And uh, your turn, Alex. Draw. All right. Well, so we got to start doing something, right? Uh, let's go green gadget effect. Yeah, he's fine. Get a red, and uh, I'll just set one throw back. Okay, I will draw. Stand by into my main phase. I'll normal summon Zex, and I'll activate his effect. Nice. Yep. Get a Yagen out the deck, you know? Sure. Can't summon, unfortunately. Only have to have his axe. But that's no problem. 1800 still pretty good, right? I mean, you have I'll a Utopia 18. on the field. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> Let's play around Lance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go 25 into your gadget. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> Let's play around Lance. And then I'll go directly with Zach. Sure, I'll take 18. Okay. All right, man. You're on the ropes. It's not looking I am good on for the you. ropes. It's good for me. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, we'll go red gadget. Sure. Get yellow. Yep. As long as there's nothing to pair with him, I don't, I don't really mind him. Set one. Go ahead. 
Alrighty. Draw. Stand by main. Yep. Let's play around the lance. <laughs> Let's play around the lance. <laughs> I will compulse the Utopia. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's play into the lance. Into the lance. Damage. <laughs> you have it. Yes, that's good. You did play yes, around it the first that is time. so good. That is so funny. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh, I should have waited. No, <laughs> it's fine. I'll go main phase two. Yeah, I have not normal summoned. I will. You only take three hundred from that, by the way. You don't I... take eight. Oh, you're right. My bad. Yeah, my math is, yeah. Uh, my math's a bit off there. A little bit off there. A little bit. Okay, there we go. Tidied up. Your move. Okay. I'll draw. And by main. All right. What are we dealing with? Your setting could just be another Yagen. Uh, could be a Carteros. Those are the only two things you actually set. Could be Penguin Soldier. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> hey, man, it could be Penguin Soldier. <laughs> could be Penguin Soldier. It could, could be Penguin, be Penguin Soldier. Soldier. Uh, I think I have to go for this. Yes. Should prompt something out of you. It prompts nothing. Kaiku's fine. Okay. Uh, then this is probably Yegan, so let's find out. Yes, it is. Um, flip. You take five here. You take five. Bounce back, Kaiku. Yep. Unfortunate. Uh, go. Okay. Draw. Stand by me. Yep. Normal. Jeez. Yeah. Sure. Fuse. Instant fusion. Well, Alex, I don't know what I would be possibly afraid of. So, I mean, I'm just going to make biggest guy I can here. Yeah, but, okay. Maybe not the biggest guy, but <laughs> the guy with Utopia's the most potential. Back. Yeah. Most potential. Um, Shift. Yeah. I don't think you got anything. Battle phase. We'll get over it. You'd be correct. I do not nice. have anything. It sucks. Jeez, um, bro. The, I'm glad the worms came in clutch here, but this is what this wasn't the matchup I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I would agree. This is not the matchup I was expecting either. It would have a little bit more of a sideboard play. You had the Ryos, which sucked. Um, oh and you yeah. Had a million that, back that came in anyway. super clutch. Yeah. What sucked was that. So it's funny. You mentioned in the second game how I only had six gadgets. I actually had nine game one, and I figure, okay, I'll board out of one of each. And then it came up last oh, game where yeah. I had, uh, I just, I ran out and like, I could have kept searching, but I ran out of them. So I'm like, okay, maybe I board some back in. And then my hand just got the typical gadget hand where it's just, you just flood. I Technically, I haven't even gone through two play sets. So like this could happen without nine gadgets as well. Um, but it just sucked. One of those was searched, obviously, but I had two more, and then uh, with double Kaiku to go with it as well. Yeah, oh uh, my god, that's just like, what else? You, you can't do anything any turn. Yeah, just it's just, I'm just dude. struggling just with every single monster. So I really had to hope that that was Carteros and then Kaiku could connect, but you had Fiendish Chain. Honestly, you could have even torrential at that point. You probably would have been mm. safe. So... Uh, it sucked. Honestly, like, I think this probably favors you more in the sense that uh, Zex is just, like, bigger than all the gadgets, and then Yagen could just bounce any of the Xyz that I make uh, in engine, and then you also have the traps to back it up as well. We're like, yeah, I always break even, but for the most part, especially since you have Yagen as well, it's just, like, a frustrating... I think, like, just, like, the bodies you have just make it so much more difficult for me to play through this. Uh, so I think yeah. you were actually favored in this yeah the only thing i think your deck has going for it is like sort of inevitability right because you keep getting gadgets and i feel I like it has to get real to like in game two it had to play out that way where i had to wear you out of everything before mm. like inevitability really kicked in and i almost didn't have it because i didn't have enough gadgets honestly <laughs> yeah and i think i even said it too like as long as you don't have the extender i'm not really worried about you throwing down a gadget like every right. time you do it's like cool i can answer a gadget no problem. well exactly and because yagen's 1800 i have to commit to something or draw photon thrasher exactly sure. or grand Bull. i have that too Yep. Um, I need to draw one of those exact cards. Uh, otherwise, I have to make something, which then you just get to one for two me. Even if I get a uh, break even on it, Fiendish Chain it, you compulse it, you deprison it, to, uh, you know, offerings of the Snake Deity, compulse, whatever you have. Uh, it's I'm always behind in that regard. And then when I do stick, Yagen's going to bounce it anyway. So, yeah. yeah, no, I think just like out of the, the match, the way the matchup could have gone, I think you were favored. The way yeah. just the way it played out, it was just, it felt like I was behind the whole game. Damn, yeah, I, I rocked up with this deck because I, I actually fully expected you to take. You did take in a sense summon Kaiku, but I managed. I thought you would take your anti meta deck again, uh, just geared towards Dragon Wars. Because like, I keep thinking like, why would you think I wouldn't play it? <laughs> like it's no, the best I said deck the same thing I in the, the same game. Thing. Like, why is there no reason I wouldn't touch that deck? Right. So I was yep. like, well, if I gotta beat you, I don't want to get embarrassed like I did last week. I gotta <laughs> rock up with something different. Sure. So I think this was like my best kind of intermediate pick there, and it just happened to like mix a Ryos and like you said, Yagen, give me a bit of an edge against your gadget deck. Yeah, it sucked. 
So my whole game plan was uh, the de the main deck because obviously we're boarded at this point. Uh, my whole game plan was to just stick th uh, Shockmaster against your ruler deck. And if I stick Shockmaster, oh, yeah. you literally just can't play the game. Like, you yep. need to draw Raigeki Break or you Rageki lose the break. game instantly. Yep. I'd, yep. I'd have to have specifically Raigeki Break that out of it. Yep. yep. And so that was the whole game plan. And unfortunately, just didn't come together that way. Because uh, especially against this, we saw this in game two. I either uh, call traps and then don't get blown out by, like, Prison or Fiendish Chain... Or I call monsters and they'll get blown up by Yagin. Like, Shockmaster has to be used in such a specific way against decks like Ruler or like decks that really don't play all the types of cards, monster, spell, or trap, right? If most yep. decks are only playing monster or spell, you call the one that they're playing the most of and they just lose. And that's yeah, why this card is so of... powerful and that's why it's banned because you can do that for three straight turns, which is yeah, just Yeah, you stupid. think of the decks like Insector, Wind Up, Dragon Roar. Like, what do these decks do? A monster effects. Yep. Like, that's the only way they get any of their plays rolling. And then, even better, if you play against Spellbook, you ever call Spell against a Spellbook player? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. like, whoa, that's tough. So. Yeah. So, I did about 50 test hands with this. I think it was like 62% going first. I was going to res uh, resolve a turn one Shockmaster. And I'm like, you know what? I think that seems good enough to give this a try. And uh, I had it. I, I had the Shockmaster pretty much almost at all points, but. Uh, against this deck, it's just not super good. So we had to try to adapt as best we could. But I can't be mad. I think you made the right call just trying to play something different, expecting me to play something against your rulers. And look at that. Now the series is tied again, so we can hype it up again for next week. <laughs> Absolutely, man. It's what we kind of keep doing, right? It was just hard to ignore this deck, especially with this guy looking at yeah. me, right? Like getting the, the whole deck into action. We Same. had some success with it before. I was like, why not? We got to run it back. Yeah, I'm playing it too. It's uh, it's free. I don't have Gear Giga next, but you know what? This basically does the same thing, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Absolutely does. Yeah, you're right. So, yeah. Uh, you saw this as my wild card, uh, so nothing too scary. I mean, it's scary. Don't get me wrong, but I need to be playing. Uh, I can play this in Evil Swarm, to be fair, and that's kind of a nightmare for you too. Yeah, uh, kind of how, how are your pulls? Get anything else crazy or... I mean, I got the Blade Master, Master of Blades, which is, like, okay. good for Dragon Wars. That, that's what I was afraid <laughs> of. Go yep. figure. Um, and then I got... You, you get, the Super Rares aren't too bad, right? Like, Angony or Crazy Box. Those guys aren't too terrible. Yep. I did get my third Kage Tokage, which came in clutch today. You only had um, two. I, I, okay. I, well, because, yeah, because I missed the Star Packs. I, I didn't mm. open, like, 20 Star Packs or something, which... <laughs> I thought you were going to go back and open... <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think I needed it, Alex, but <laughs> then I was like, oh, I really wanted a Kage to Kage, but yeah. now I got it. So we're good. We're chilling. Yeah. But, um, well, the worms, yeah. I think you're undefeated with the worms. If my I think so, too. <laughs> they've been they've been crazy. Worms X has been the most powerful normal summon. S tier on the tier list for the end of the season. That'll be funny. But next episode, Gage, uh, Judgment of the Light, I believe the set is, and uh, right. series is tied. I think, uh, I don't know. I, it's, I believe, if my memory serves, it may be your last chance to play with full power rulers. So, uh, full power in our series, I should say. So, yeah, I wonder what I'm taking next. I wonder week, what right? you're taking well, next. It could, could be anything. Could taking. be anything. <laughs> So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play MBTPlayMidolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Helios515, I tried reading cards before, it was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio players soon uncle brian of stardust nicholas carpenter corvain and peyton mcgrath thank you all so much for watching and we will see you next time